Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. We are in my studio and I thought uh, while I'm painting this beautiful little creature over here, I'm talking about some stuff uh, because I just realized uh, uh, some things about my paintings and, and I wanted to share them because I want to share with you more about my art and my process. I always wanted to document you know the thread of like how how an artist from A to B arrives and so how the creating process is happening so I want to share that with you more and then also I want this channel to be a place for people who are trying to find out who they are and what they like if they want to be an artist and how to how to be an artist how to achieve this because I'm here, I'm, I'm on this field for a long time, I, well not super long time but for like more than 10 years so I thought you know and I haven't achieved so many things but I have a degree in, in the arts, I studied photography and intermedia and I was uh, studying in Venice so I had exhibitions in different countries residencies so i would say you know i have some kind of understanding about art i'm not saying i know everything because obviously i don't but i think you know i was thinking when, when i was 17 uh, i would have loved to have someone who's talking about this kind of stuff of like how to do what to do where to go first so I was thinking maybe I can share with you some some of these ideas and thoughts I have what I think is going to be helpful for you. First of all, I wanted to talk about something that I was realizing one week ago while I was painting, how to find your style. And that is a really a huge topic because first of all, like style it, can be like a really big range from impressionist to to naive to naive to abstract to to paint something realistic so there can be a lot of lot of different things so what happened with me is that uh, is when I was painting with this one with this painting behind me it used to be orange the background the upper background part if you remember it was it used to be orange and now it's blue because I didn't really like the the orange I don't know why it was just I didn't like it so I really wanted to to change it and there was like one week ago I was like okay I'm going to change it and I'm, I'm done with it okay it's going to be blue so I started to paint it and while I was painting it I was remembering like one point that it came into my head this memory from one year ago uh, when I was exhibiting a few of my pieces the first pieces I made from the pink lady and a couple of people like separately not the same time uh, and I should say they were all men <laughs> they, they were suggesting me kindly that uh, I should paint my paintings in much more clear way that we don't see the brush strokes I understand what they were trying to say and where they are coming from and they were like suggesting something nice and kind in the end but um, like later on and especially when I was painting this like repainting the background of this I was becoming quite angry because it started to resemble to the situation where we are in now that there are leaders in this world that they think that they can decide what women should do with their bodies with their own bodies and and uh, which is which is really outrageous so it started to resemble that there are someone and there are you know pe people but there are you know men who are trying to suggest what I should do with my art and and I started to be angry and I started to say inside of me while I was painting that you know what I'm not going to do what you are what you want me to do I'm going to do the opposite and the funny thing is that 
it felt really natural because I am not a really precise person from heart. I'm, I'm, I'm not spending, I don't like to spend minutes at one part of the painting and you know make it perfect because I'm not like that. It's just not what who I am. It's not in my hand and I don't like to do it. And everything what I do is just really, you know, fastly and I'm doing this, okay, it's done, the next thing, because, you know, I'm a Gemini, I like, like to go on, go on. So while I was having these thoughts and I was painting, I realized that, and I changed, and I started to change the way how I was painting. I started to, to not care that much about being perfect and it felt so good, it felt right and that is the point that when you feel inside the, the, the fire, the, the power of that you are going on the right path and that's what I felt, I felt it is right and I started to love that you see the brush strokes, that you see the movements, you see how the painting is done and then it's not perfect it's dirty a little bit I really really started to like that and so I finished the painting and then and then I started to make another one that is over here in the corner as you can see this one that is about womanhood sisterhood and the way that we should support uh, each other's and we should support each other's decisions about what they want to do with their bodies so that's what the, the piece is about over there so yes that's what I felt that while I was painting this painting I, I it felt right so the point what I'm trying to say with the story is that to find your style it's really important that you are doing it, like you are doing it constantly, every day. You're painting, if you want to be a painter, but if you want to be a sculptor, that you're sculpting every day. If you're a photographer, you want to be a photographer, you do photographs every day. You do it, you do it, you do it. And, and of course you learn and you understand what kind of styles there exist and what kind of artists are there but the point is that you are doing it every day and that you are trying to follow your heart it's I know it's really cheesy but that's what for me it's working that is you can say it's hard you can say it's soul but it's something the the energy inside of you is just when you are doing what you should do then you're going to feel it when you are there as how I felt when I was fixing this blue background. That is the story that I wanted to share that share with you and and here's my little statues. <laughs> I hope you like them. And I hope that this video was helpful for this story and I want to share more uh, about my artistic uh, everyday and and I hope it's interesting for you and if you made this far then then thank you very much uh, please like this video because that really helps me and share this video with people that you think that for them it can be useful if they want to be an artist and um, and yeah and have a really really great day and a beautiful weekend bye <laughs>